this thing on? What's up, YouTube? Been a real, making moves with no face stops. channel. Hey, I know I have to. Okay. <clears throat> All right, how do I start this? What's up, YouTube? My name is Desiree, if you guys don't know. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today, I will be doing a challenge. We'll be doing a cook-off, and yeah, um, super excited about that. So stay tuned. I'm gonna go grab her. Come on, mom. Let's go. Tyree, you want to say hi? Come say hi. Okay. Um, back here. <laughs> say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. All right. <laughs> Come on. I'm just taking forever. Um, want to say hi to the vlog? She's going. No, yeah. I'm not. Definitely going to lose. What are you making? I am making halibut tacos with a mango salsa. Mango salsa. Is that, was that the secret? Yep. That was the secret? Yep. Oh, I'm flying. So are you serious? Yes, Hi, thank you. Okay, hold on, let me check this out. I don't want your bag up here. Oh my god, you're so dramatic. Okay, so we are starting our tacos. My mom's making her little idea that she had earlier today. She wouldn't tell me, and it's mango salsa. I got a garbage bowl here. Hmm? So you can just throw your garbage in here. There you go. All right, you guys, my baby is crying, so I'm gonna have to go feed him real quick. I'll be back. <laughs> Say hey to the vlog. Hey, hey to, to the, the vlog. vlog. Hey. Hey to the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're so funny. Here we go. I deserve to be in the video. What are you doing? <laughs> Come at me. See? Look. All right, I'm gonna get started on my tacos. Mom, do you have an extra, do you have an extra cutting board? Yes, so we need the, no. Oh. Okay. At the stove? Side of the stove. I need you to go in the garage and I need you to get the Mexican straight me. corn that's in that freezer. At least for me. Yes. It's in a white bag and it says Mexican straight corn. You took away my supplies, honey. Okay. What I'm doing first is I'm gonna start soaking my salmon in the seasoning. Thank you. Even though this is a battle, we gotta still help each other out, right, Mom? Right. <laughs> Teamwork has nothing to do with flavor. Right. <laughs> Look for a bag that says. Street corn. Street corn? Yes. Street. It's in a white bag. So in my bowl, I have some mango, peaches for sweetness, some red onion, some cilantro, and I'm about to top it all off with some fresh lime juice. 
She said that. <laughs> Oh, I, I know. Will. <laughs> I will. Okay. So right now I'm cutting up a little bit of parsley because it gives it good flavor and salmon. And we're gonna dip that in there. Okay. And I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in here just to kind of marinate all the flavors with the lime juice. Okay, so put that going. And then I'm gonna add And there's a jalapeno in there too. Hi. Did you find it? Me? Yeah. That was the question. Did you find it? <laughs> right? Did you find it? No. It's not me. <laughs> Okay, so I chopped up my cilantro now for my um, guacamole and my pico de gallo. This is non-stop, it just doesn't end. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna start cutting up my tomatoes for both my guacamole and my pinko de gallo, and it's gonna be really good. It's all the way at the bottom, I'm not. What else are you gonna make, Mom? Now it's gonna put some of the corn inside the Ooh, that would have been good. Now, over here, I'm going to cook, start my halibut, wash my hands. I should be I'm going to feed it again. I will be back. So with this halibut, I'm cooking it with a little bit of olive oil and some lime juice.
So in this bowl, I'm gonna put okay. some, more, some please, sugar. I gotta have some combo. And some mayonnaise and some lime juice. Yes, we're taking a titty break. Normalized breastfeeding. Yes, normalized breastfeeding. Your child is hungry, feed them. That's my motto. <laughs> so Desiree, how many more children are we going to have? Children, I definitely want about like maybe four, five. So then you mix all that together. And do um, so you want four or five? Is that too much, Mom? She wants six children. I do, I want six. Now I'm gonna throw my bag of <laughs> into this mixture. When will you and Jordan finally get married? up to him. Ladies, I mean, we if are your too, man has we, not proposed after 15 years, it's fine. I mean, after two kids, I mean, who needs marriage after this? Right. right. We're technically married at this point. <laughs> this is going to be straight comedy. That's why I said it's about to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I definitely, I definitely um, want to have at least six and I'm probably gonna end up with like four boys and two girls. Hopefully. All boys. You think I'm gonna have all boys? All boys. Why? All boys. Really? Yep. I will never be blessed with another granddaughter. I have one. I have one. And I have four grandsons. And my daughter-in-law's pregnant again. It's probably yeah, my brother. Go. I'm gonna be an auntie again for the fourth time. I'm so excited. I'm hoping it's a girl. I'm hoping it's a girl. So am I. But she's having symptoms of what? Having a boy. Mm -hmm. We're just so now day. I have the coleslaw done. This will go on top of the tacos. <laughs> putting this in the fridge and all we have to wait for now is my halibut to cook and toast up those uh tortillas and I'm done are you done yet I told you you're going down I'm not going down just because I'm behind I have a child to feed okay you're going down mamacita I like this candle what's the, what's this candle coconut and honey where'd you get it I got that from my girl Sky. my sister if you haven't heard is on my phone and she's uh, cheering me on from the telephone. I also have an avocado here <laughs> that I'm going to cut up. Look how beautiful that avocado is. Okay, look at you, Miss, Miss Chef. Chef Johnson. Okay, child of mine, are you done eating? Nope. I'm probably going to be sitting here for a good like 15 minutes. That's okay. But I mean, my my meals are just simple, easy, fast. So. Cut out all this of me doing this to the avocado. <laughs> I have some questions for you. Alright, are you ready? Okay. If you were to pick out of all the kids, who is your favorite kid? I don't have a favorite. Oh! Okay, um, second question. If you have a favorite type of wine, not brand, but type of wine, what, what type of wine? Red wine. No, but what type? Like Merlot? Red wine. Dark red wine. Just any type of savory. I also like a, a Dry. dessert wine. Stella Rosa? Yes. We'll put a little bit of lime juice on top of these avocados so they don't brown. And we'll put a little bit of salt on top of this. This is for on top if you want it or on the side. And just like that, Mom is done. this baby is done eating. My turn. All right, now that my baby is fed, it's on and popping, Mom. 
it's on and popping. All right, you guys, so, so far I have in my bowl, I have my salmon and my parsley. And in this bowl, I have my cilantro cut up for my guacamole. So mom, what high school did you go to? I went to a high school here in the north end of Seattle called Ingram High School, and I graduated in 1990. Yeah, I know. I'm cold. I went to Ingram and I also went to uh, Nathan Hale. Okay. That's right. What inspired you to become a YouTuber? Just basically having fun with it, I guess. Just to kind of just show the world. Your life? My life, yeah. Sometimes people tell me that my life is a movie. And so it's like, why not put it into action i've always wanted to do youtube videos for a couple years now a lot of things have stopped me from doing that so i actually want to do it this time i think it would be a fun experience i love filming i love being funny i love i don't know just showing people my life i think social media is a very big thing now and so as a stay-at-home mom, I'm just like bored. So it's like, why not, you know? Out of all the celebrities, who do you look up to the most? A celebrity I look up to the most? Mm -hmm. Catherine is a Virgo like me. I would have to say somebody I look up to that's famous is Catherine McGrew. Catherine McBroom, she is from the Ace family and she's Virgo like me. She's very spiritual. I don't know, she just reminds me of me a lot. She's an entrepreneur, she's a businesswoman. She's just a family type of person and yeah, I just, I would say she's a role model if you ask me. What are you making right now, honey? Okay, so right now I'm cutting up the avocado to uh, make my guacamole okay and yeah that's what i'm doing so far. do you freeze your avocado no. no you can no you can't yeah no way yeah. when they come out nasty though no i read that you can literally to preserve your avocados you can cut them up mm -hmm. and put them in a bowl or a freezer bag or whatever and when they defrost, they defrost just as they were when you put them in the freezer. That's amazing. Like, I definitely will be doing that for sure from now just on. Just like my her your herbs so they don't spoil you. Right, I, put, them up and I put do. Them in I cut them oil. up. Yeah, I cut them up and I put them in the freezer. Mm -hmm. Like, um, like if I was cooking with it, like Italian parsley, I use that. Mm-hmm. I definitely. Italian parsley that. has really good flavor. It really does. Yeah, it, there's it something will, about it. Such a freshness to people's food, right? Yeah. If you top pasta with parsley, any type of pasta, it doesn't matter. It literally tastes it like it up. It just makes it so like that much better. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. You guys should try it. Like definitely try should parsley. Should you start your salmon while you're doing this? No, salmon doesn't take that long to cook. I know, but. If you started it at the same time, it'd get done the same time. No, I'm good. That's okay. I, I want to do the. I want to do this first so I can get it in the fridge. <laughs> Just Ow, oh, mom, I'm bleeding. Are you? Mom, I'm bleeding. Oh no, here. Get it off. Don't touch. I'm the not. Thing. <laughs> Ouch! That hurt. That really hurt. I got a boo boo. <laughs> okay, so we have avocado, cilantro, tomatoes, and that. And so now I'm gonna start my onions. Onion. I thought you were using a white onion. I need a band aid. No, you need to hold that like that. Mm -hmm. 
How is this gonna work? That's so ghetto. Mom. Do you like halibut, son? You're gonna love mine. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so who do you think oh, is? Yeah. Comment down below who you guys think is gonna win this challenge. I think it's gonna be me, for yeah. sure. A thousand percent. Me, for sure. What are you I'm doing? I'm trying to cut this onion and it's just like not the... You have part. to cut the top off first, it's, baby. It's not coming... No, this part. This part, I normally just... It, I take it off and it comes right off, but it's not coming off. Or just cut that half off. Tell. So now I'm gonna start cutting the onion. Thank you. Yeah, cut. Yeah, I got it. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Hey, hey. You're so rough with my knife. are done. I'm waiting for you. Oh, you're crazy. I'm waiting for her. <laughs> oh my god, I can't see. I'm blind. Oh my god. Call it down below if you guys hate cutting onions. And it's not just me. I hate, I hate this. Mom, have you ever cut an onion and like it made your eyes hurt so bad that you kept trying to cut it with your eyes? Yes, I've done that several times. <laughs> I've done that so many times. I'm so desperate to get it cut. <laughs> oh my god. Whew. Oh. Now, this is for your pico de gallo parts, for your pico de gallo and parts for your guacamole? Yes. Okay. And you're only cutting up half that onion. Are you only cutting up half that onion? Yeah. That's enough onions. Yeah. Yep, I can't I can't do it anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> Hashtag eyes are burnt. I swear. <laughs> I can't. I'm waiting for Desiree. Ooh, my eyes. Oh. We'll call you guys when we're done though because yeah. we're recording. Okie dokie. All right. I okay, love you. Love you. Love you. That was so intense, you guys. I literally cannot, my eyes are so sensitive. Cannot stand it. I hate it so much. It hurts so bad. Now, what are you putting in your guacamole? Okay, so this is a secret. You put Old Bay inside the guac. Mm. Yes. Okay. All right, you guys, so the tacos are done. Oh my gosh, that one's mine. This whole part is my mom's. It looks amazing. Oh my gosh. 
detail. Okay, so hubby's first. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, whose are you gonna try first? Mom. My mom. Oh my god, that looks so good. <laughs> Is it good? Mm -hmm. Out of one to ten, what, what do you rate it? Like a nine. A nine? Okay. Nine. You got a nine. How do you feel? You got a nine so far. Okay, I gotta try yours. Okay, here he goes. He's trying mine. Okay, babe, what do you think about mine? <laughs> Is mine really good? Yes. Yeah, yes. Okay, so I got a nine and a half. Nice, nice, okay. Thanks, babe. Okay, mom's turn. Mom, what do you think about my tacos? What do you think? It's good. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, what would you rate it? Okay, mom's giving me an A. Hi, baby. Oh, gosh. Okay, mom, what do you rate? Your taco. A solid nine. A solid nine, and mine's an eight. Mm -hmm. I'm a hater. You're just a hater. You guys, I promise. Oh so Why don't you taste okay. Yours now? I'm gonna taste mom's first. <laughs> mm. That mango salsa, definitely really good. Okay. Mine. That seasoning on the salmon is actually really my good. Lip. If I can choose, I would choose my mom's. Because I like more sweet, savory. She was good. You're good for that one. Two out of four. For mom, one for me. Okay, baby. It's your turn. What do we rate this taco? This is mommy's taco. That's a big bite. <laughs> um, is it good? I give it a 10. You give it a 10? You give it a 10? With that type of With that face, he's out. <laughs> His grandma's now. I just, I know it's kind of full. <laughs> oh, that's a big bite. Now what about that one? An eight. <laughs> an eight? Okay, so I got a 10 and grandma got an eight. All right, you guys, as you can see, um, it was a tie. We both did an amazing job, but you know, I have to say that I have a great teacher right here, my mother. She taught me how to cook. And my grandparents, they're amazing. And you know, um, one thing I can say is thank you. This was really fun. Thank you for being the first person on my first YouTube channel. How does that make you feel? I feel honored to be a part of this whole journey that she has embarked to be on. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, you guys. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you for tuning in. Comment down below some good ideas, some pranks, challenges, whatever I should do next. It's really helpful. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I love you guys. Bye, babes. Bye.